everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm with Amoretti. Today we're in beautiful Longmont, Colorado and we're gonna go behind the scenes with Left Hand Brewing to see exactly how our French toast extract is incorporated in their stout. Let's go. Left Hand Brewing Company was founded in 1993. Has been around obviously for quite a while. Our flagship brand is Milk Stout, yeah. uh, Nitro. <laughs> uh, we, we are the Nitro Brewery. I'm Gary Glass, I'm the, the head brewer here at Left Hand. have been with the company for three years now, uh, but have been working in the brewing industry for over 20 years. Hey Gary, it's so nice to see you again. Hey, good to see you too. How have you been? I've been great. Uh, welcome to uh, <laughs> Left Hand's tasting room. Thank you. We've got a couple of beers here if you oh, want to have a seat. Oh great, I am so thirsty, that's perfect for me. <laughs> So I know today we're gonna go and get like behind the scenes and exactly how like our French toast extract fits into your brewing process. But before we dive into that, can you just tell me what makes Left Hand so special? Uh, well, I mean, I, I like to say it's the beer, of course. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we really focus on quality. And so uh, we're, we're constantly making new products and uh, trying to come up with new things for, uh, for our customers. And, uh, and, and really it's, it's about our people. Uh, we, we like to say we're, we're one team and we mean it. And every single person who works here is passionate about what we do and, and making great beer. Do you think all of that combined is what contributed to you guys being on the top 50 craft American brewing list? Certainly, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a team effort, so yeah, every every single one of us is is striving to, to be the best we can be. And rumor has it, you guys are one of the most decorated breweries in Colorado. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, well, we, our, our most recent award, we, we won a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival this year in 2023 uh, for our Sawtooth, which was our our original flagship beer. So still winning awards for, for the first beer we ever made. Wow, congratulations. Cheers Thanks. to that. What an accomplishment. Cheers. So now that we got a delicious beer and a little bit of background, can we head behind the scenes and see where all the magic happens? Absolutely. Let's go take a look. So for our French toast milk stout, we'll start with our, our base milk stout. So that's our that's our flagship brand. Uh, it goes through the through mashing process, boils, adds hops, and then uh, we send it off to a fermenter and ferment it. And once it's completed fermentation, that's the point at which we're ready to, to add the extract. And we're doing it during our, our clarification process. So we're running it through our centrifuge. Okay. And it's gonna come through, uh, after it gets out of the centrifuge, it's gonna come through a hose. And we'll set up a separate hose. It gets sanitized uh, along with the, the whole process, but everything will be sanitary. And then we just uh, disconnect that jumper hose and we'll add the extract and then hook it back up and run the work or the beer uh, through the through the hose, uh, and then it will mix with the with the beer that's going on to our uh, uh, um, our cellaring tank. Okay, so can I ask you why do you add the Amoretti French toast extract at the end? Uh, well, the the extract is already uh, it's it's sanitary. There's no sugars in it, so it's not going to to ferment. Uh, there's, it's not going to add anything that's going to cause any, any haze, so we're actually adding it post centrifuge. So we want to get as much of that extract uh, character into the beer as, as possible, and this is the, the best way we have to preserve it. The beer will go on to a, through our pasteurizer after that on its way to Bright Tank, okay. uh, and then get packaged from there. I know that this is a rele limited release, correct? And you guys yes. have done this for how many years now? Uh, this is our second year doing the French Toast Milk Stout. You guys have done this beer for two years now. Why do you guys keep doing it? What does the extract offer your beer, or add to it, I should say? It's it's a really fantastic beer, uh, and it delivers, the extract is, is the only flavor additive that we add to this particular beer, and it delivers exactly the flavors we want. So we wanted something that tasted like French toast in our Milk Stout, <laughs> and we got French toast in our milk stout. So you get the, the bread, the vanilla, the cinnamon, the maple syrup. Uh, it's all there in our customers love it. So we're continuing to make it. If you don't mind me asking, I know that there's a tons of different like flavor houses out there and tons to choose from. Why did you guys choose Amoretti or why do you continue to use Amoretti? I would say, you know, one, one great customer service. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just really the, the, the wide selection of different offerings and, and you know, 
very high quality products, which is the most important thing yes. to us, is making sure that our, uh, our beer tastes exactly the way we want it to. And so this, uh, your, your, your products help us enhance our beer and, and create new things. So. Uh, I think I think we work very well together. I think so too. And it's always important too that you know whatever it is that you're making, ultimately at the end goal is to make sure that the customer is happy and satisfied, and that they keep coming back for something. So when you have a great product that has great quality and it delivers the flavor that you're looking for, and you're able to achieve like exactly what it is you're thinking in your head, and you're able to serve it to the customer, and they fall in love, it's like that complete full circle, right? Like it leaves our facility, it gets to you, you do your thing with it, it gets to the customer, and they're like. I absolutely love this. That's like the, like that's like the best moment, and I think it just trickles all the way back to me too. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, we we come up with a concept that we think that, uh, that that our beer drinkers are gonna gonna like, and then develop the beer around that that concept. And, and but we we have very high standards. So yes. if. If the beer didn't taste the way we wanted it to, it would never leave our doors. Right, right. And that's something about Amoretti with over 3,000 different flavors to choose from and with us priding ourselves on quality and customer service, we're really able to kind of meet a lot of our customers' demands and like help you guys achieve exactly what it is that you were envisioning and wanting for your beers. So I'm glad that you guys are able to translate that over to your customers. And they obviously like it because we're doing French toast for the second year, right? Yeah, so absolutely. we're doing right. something, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful space. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting us come into the brewery and check out the space and the behind the scenes. That's very awesome. When can we expect the French toast stout to be released? Uh, it should be out in uh, January. So. Okay, and I'm excited to try it. If anybody's out there who wants to learn more about Left Hand or the beers you guys offer, where can they find more info about you all? Uh, we're on social at Left Hand Brewing. Okay, perfect. Guys, anyone who's interested in learning more about Left Hand Brewery, it's best to just come out here to beautiful Longmont, Colorado, hang out with Gary and the team. They're amazing. If you'd like more information about Amoretti, the flavors we offer, or how to dose your beer, feel free to check us out on all our social media platforms at Amoretti.com. Bye!